In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to find the integral of inverse trig functions, pretty much like the one that you see on the board. But first, let's go over the formulas that you need to know. If you want to write this down, feel free to do so. The integral of arc sine of u, where u, the variable u is a function of x, it's equal to u arc sine u plus the square root of 1 minus u squared plus c. Now, very similar to that, we have arc cosine, or the inverse cosine function. Now, everything is mostly the same, but instead of arc sine, we have arc cosine u. And instead of plus, we have a minus, and then square root 1 minus u squared. So that's the good thing about these formulas. The cofunctions are very similar to their counterparts. By the way, for those of you who want a printout of these formulas, uh, check out the links in the description section below. I'll be posting an integration formula sheet where you can have, you know, the most common integration formulas you'll need in calculus. Now, in this problem, the u variable is equal to 4x. It's the stuff that's inside of the arc cosine function. We don't really need to calculate u prime in this problem. So all we need to do is substitute u with 4x everywhere we see it. Now, u squared, 4x squared, if you multiply 4x by 4x, it will give you 16x squared. So this is going to be the answer for the first problem. Now, let's try another one. Let's say we want to find the integral of arc tangent. And this is going to be of 3x plus 5. Here are the formulas that relate to arc tan. So arctangent of the u variable, arctan u du, very similar to arc sine, but with some slight differences. So arc sine was u arc sine u. For arctangent, it's going to be u arctangent u. So that part is similar. And then it's going to be minus natural log square root 1 plus u squared. So there's some differences in the sign. In this case, we have a natural log function instead of just a square root function. Now, very similar to that one, we have arc cotangent u du is going to be u arc cotangent of u. And then instead of minus, it's going to be plus the natural log of the square root of 1 plus u squared as opposed to 1 minus u squared. So those are the arc tangent and arc cotangent functions, and you could find them in my formula sheet in the links below. So in this problem, u is going to be 3x plus 5. So this is going to equal u, 3x plus 5. Our tangent 3x plus 5 minus the natural log of the square root of 1 plus this time I'm not going to square it I'm just going to leave it as 3x plus 5 squared and then plus C so that's the answer for this one that's the integral of our tangent 3x plus 5 for the most part, you just have to plug in u into the formula. Let's try one more example. Let's try arc secant of 5x squared dx. So here's the formula for the integral of arc secant. Arc secant u du is going to be u arc secant u, just like 
the other two examples. But minus natural log absolute value u plus the square root of u squared minus 1 and then plus c. Now for arc cosecant, for those of you who want to know, it's going to be u arc cosecant u and then instead of minus we're going to have a plus natural log and then the stuff on the inside is going to be the same u plus the square root of u squared minus 1 and then plus c. So you can see a pattern in these formulas. Now let's go ahead and finish this problem. So u is, I'm going to need more space, u is going to be 5x squared and then arc secant, the original problem, 5x squared minus the natural log of u, so that's another 5x squared, and then plus square root. Now this part is different. So we have 5x squared squared. 5 squared is 25. x squared is going to be x to the fourth. So we're going to have 25 x to the fourth minus 1 and then plus c. So that is the integral of arc secant 5x squared. So that's basically it for this video. So now you have the formulas for the integration of the arc trig functions. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward on how to use it. By the way, for those of you who want more videos on calculus, uh, feel free to check out my calculus video playlist on my website, video-tutor.net. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance.